All right, what's good, everybody? Maybe I'll get a time. I thought I'd take a little break here. It looks like it's busy. Like, you know, I don't know, like, if you know, uh, but I, I'm self-employed. I was able to put together my own gig business. And if you guys do Uber, what I hate about Uber is they'll get times, but Las Vegas is different than any other city. Every place is different. But this town goes in waves, okay, like early in the morning or like, let's say, four or five o'clock in the morning and then late morning, then like early lunch period, uh, time, early afternoon, the evening afternoon, and then nine. So it's like times where people go in waves because you also have the, you have the local traf- uh, traffic, but you also have the incoming traffic based on the airport you know, people coming in and coming out and all that. And the airlines, they work in waves, okay, in which those planes come in, like I just told you about, all right? It's about like every, like three hours, something like that, where you get a flock of planes come in and then it stops for a couple hours. And then, all right, I'm just saying that from working at the airport, all right? We'll get a time where maybe I can take y'all around and we can look at some different projects because I want some of y'all, to be successful, especially you guys that work in the construction or if you are uh, builders or you're in electricity, uh, in, in those fields where it's trades or tech, okay? Tech, trades, you know, I want to try to uh, promote or make it attractive for you to come, maybe consider coming to Las Vegas to come work. And they also have things like nursing and uh, they uh you know, you have a lot of older people here, veterans that you like, you know, have home care. Okay. Uh, teaching because they're going to, you know, they build schools out here from time to time. You see here, uh, nursing, teaching, hospitality, those kind of things, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, more so like uh, liberal type trades, some, some liberal trades. Okay. So. You know, you should consider coming, especially if you're out east. I've been trying to get a lot of my family and friends from out there in Virginia, the, in Philadelphia, Philly and all that, Maryland, to get out of there, get away from that BS man, and come on out here. But they just love it back home. Maybe I'm different and maybe it's meant for me to be different. But look, I digress. I want to chop y'all, chop it up about with y'all about Angela Bassett. Okay, like a lot of people felt like she got messed over for the Grammys and all that. Okay, uh, for the Wakanda role. Okay, I'm just hearing other people talking. It, it seems like that's like the talk of the town. I love, I like Angela Bassett. I really think that she's a very well manicured woman. I always would say if I saw somebody at that I, I liked or whatever. I'd say that I think that you're Angela Bassett fine, you know, so, and she's a great actor. She really, really is. Uh, I want y'all to understand one thing, okay, or basically how the corporate world works and how Hollywood works and these Gram, uh, what is it, the Oscars or Grammys or whatever that is, what award that is, I think it's the Oscars. The system that's been put together out there in Hollywood, reared, and between that and the Oscars is not set up. I hate to tell you this. It's not set up for people that look like me and you, okay? That's if you look like me. I'm just going to be frank with you, all right? Um, but believe it or not, you need to look at the, or the origins, which were ma- manipulated, actually the origins with that was the guy Pan, or, or they call him the Baphomet. All right, that he was the god of a uh, god of entertainment, a winery. You could you could read about him, okay? It basically Nimrod in Genesis uh, chapter thirteen. Okay, you read a little bit, little bit, bit about him. They talk about him in the Bible, and you can look at his faith, his faith for going up against uh, the Most High. All right, so or Michael, him and Michael, which Michael was cast out of heaven, okay? And he could play the harp. He, harp, he was very a, a very talented mu- musician, okay? And, uh, and many of them, 
these entertainers, that's who they venerate. Okay? Michael and and Nimrod. All right? So he uh, this is Nimrod passed awards out, okay, to many accomplished entertainers in Egypt. That's part of what he uh, what he did and it carried over to what we have now in the Oscars the way again the way it's set up in Hollywood all right um, Wakanda really that movie and I I really don't teach this part but there is a lot of occultic like pagan like rituals in that movie okay it's well put together and it sold a lot okay it had a lot of sales uh this other movie, this Woman King, I, I tried to tell people, yeah, it was a good movie, and so, and so that's what I heard about, but I don't know if you know it or not, but that woman, okay, that woman, it basically, it was basically about her selling the Israelites uh, to, to slavery, and I hate to tell you that, but it's what it is, okay? But I want y'all to understand how Again, it's not set up for us. And I just think that, let's say when Holly Berry or Denzel end up getting those awards, okay, they're, they're handpicked, okay? They basically like like Mammy and Sambo awards. And I hate to have to say it like that, but it seems like for when they have good roles that they do, the few good roles, they don't get the award for that, okay? And a lot of them vouch to get those uh those good uh, those good roles like they get like villain type roles or they got roles like many the men have to dress up like women, all right. And I haven't seen Denzel dress like a woman or Samuel Jackson, but many of them do. But it seems like these guys and some of these women, okay, that look like us, they if they do get an award. They get an award again for either beating beat, beating up people or being a, a, a thug police officer like Denzel. Okay, something that that effect. All right, somebody out there actually had a good role, and he had a perfect night until he slapped somebody. Okay, <laughs> so that's on him. I think you know who that person is. But that's just the way the corporate world works, okay? It's mainly about relationships. And even if you do get in that realm, you got a whole different uh, hierarchy in like the top 1% threshold, okay, of the greatest entertainers, okay? Uh, top entertainers, so to speak. I was speaking to... A lot of your work is not appreciated. Uh, there was a Rolling Stones, two, uh, what is it, top 200? Michael Jackson was like number 86. And I'm thinking, what? You know? Um, but I think that many times your work is not appreciated, although I do believe that the Oscars and the Grammys have probably become more diverse. But just worry about the craft. But I just think that when you get on a roll and when you getting a lot of box sales and when you're making a lot of money and so forth, then, and the same in the corporate world, you may be doing a lot, okay, getting a lot done. And then you probably expect to get awarded and then you get, somebody else gets the award, okay? It's the way to try to discourage you, okay? Or the way to try, I don't know, to drag you through the mud but it is a psychological tactic, excuse me. I was talking to a friend of mine about this, that he wanted to retire from the government and he's doing all these things, running all this stuff, doing more than what he's supposed to do. And he likes to make barbecue, making barbecue for his boss and all his friends or whatever, and got passed over for promotion twice. And he's going to retire this year. And I told him, I said, look, if you don't get a promotion, by September, which want to retire, just retire, 
okay, because your, his work is not appreciated. The dude, he gets like a GS-12 or 13. That's pretty high. He gets military retirement and disability, and he's got a business where him and his wife, they sell purses and they sell barbecue stuff. They work at fairs and stuff like that, cooking food and all that. It's like, you know, I think that he's done enough. He's 56. You know, that happened to me some, something, well, something that affect when I was in the army, where I was doing probably more than what I should have done, and my work is, is just not enough. Sometimes, again, you just have to, you know, you want to just worry about just the craft and doing what you need to do and not to get caught up or do, and doing too much or more so about the money part, okay? Worry about your craft. I believe that everything else will fall in place, okay? But I just think that, again, the way you have to look at it, the system the system's not really set up for us. But I just hope that maybe down the road, Angela Bassett is going to get her due. Uh, I don't know, whatever's due uh, for her to get. So, but she has done great work. But maybe there's just something better, I don't know, down the road. Maybe a Lifetime Achievement Award or something. So let me know what you think about the video here. I think I spoke for like 11, 12 minutes. Peace.